All right, so you guys have seen me do illustrations on the iPad, but you're still not sure how Adobe Illustrator on iPad works. Well, worry no more because I'm gonna give you guys a full comprehensive, everything I can get out of my head onto the camera tutorial of all the tools and tricks in Adobe Illustrator iPad. So without any more waiting, let's jump into it. The selection tool is one of the most important tools in Adobe Illustrator for iPad. It is used to select and manipulate individual elements in your design. To use the selection tool, just tap on the object you want to select. Once selected, you can move, rotate, scale, or make other adjustments to the object. Additionally, you can use the selection tool to select multiple elements at once by holding down the shift key while selecting. This can be useful when you need to select multiple elements to move or manipulate them as a group. You can also use the direct selection tool to select specific points on a path. This tool allows you to adjust the shape of the path by moving or adding anchor points. It's a great tool for making precise adjustments to your designs. When working with the selection tool, it's important to understand the difference between the selection tool and the direct selection tool. The pen tool is used to create precise paths. To use the pen tool, tap and hold on the canvas to create anchor points. You can then adjust the curvature of the path by dragging the handles on the anchor points. The pencil tool is similar, but allows for a more freehand drawing style. It's ideal for sketching or drawing illustrations. The pen tool is a great tool for creating vector graphics. It's a very powerful tool for creating precise shapes and paths. It's especially useful for creating logos, icons, and other designs that require precise lines and shapes. The pencil tool, on the other hand, is great for creating more organic or freeform designs. It's ideal for sketching, drawing illustrations, or creating hand-drawn elements in your design. Both the pen and pencil tool can be used in combination to create a wide range of designs for precise vector graphics to more organic illustrations. The brush tool in Adobe Illustrator for iPad allows users to create and edit brush strokes on their designs. With this tool, users can select from a variety of brush types, such as calligraphic, scatter, and art brushes and adjust the settings to customize the look and behavior of the brush stroke. Additionally, users can also create their own custom brushes using the brush creation feature. The brush tool also allows users to vary pressure and tilt on the Apple Pencil to create dynamic, natural looking strokes. The shape tool allows you to create basic shapes like rectangles, circles, and polygons. To use the shape tool, tap on the tool in the toolbar, then tap and drag to the canvas. The shape tool allows you to create basic shapes like rectangles, circles, and polygons. To use the shape tool, tap on the tool in the toolbar, then tap and drag onto the canvas to create the shape. You can also adjust the properties of the shape, like its size, color, in the properties panel. The shape tool is great for creating basic shapes and elements in your design. It's especially useful for creating background patterns or elements that require simple shapes. Additionally, you can use the shape tool to create basic shapes and then use other tools such as the pen tool to manipulate and adjust the shape to create a more complex design. The shape tool is very intuitive, making it easy for users to create basic shapes quickly and efficiently. The text tool allows you to add text to your design. To use the text tool, tap on the tool in the toolbar, then tap on the canvas where you want the text to appear. You can then type in your text and adjust the font size and color in the properties panel. The text tool is great for adding text to your design. It's especially useful for creating headlines, labels, or other text elements in your design. Additionally, you can use the text tool to create text effects such as drop shadows, outlines, or other effects to make your text stand out. The text tool is very easy to use and allows users to add text to their designs quickly and easily. The color selector is used to choose colors for your design. You can access the color selector by tapping on the color chip in the toolbar. You can then choose a color from the color wheel or enter a specific code. The color selector is a very useful tool for choosing colors for your design. It allows you to choose colors from a wide range of options, from basic colors to more complex color patterns. Additionally, you can use the color selector to create custom color swatches, which can be saved for the future. The color selector is a very important tool and allows users to choose colors for their designs. It's a very intuitive tool and it makes it easy to choose colors quickly. The Shape Builder tool allows you to combine and manipulate shapes. 
To use the Shape Builder tool, select the shapes you want to combine, then tap on the Shape Builder tool in the toolbar. You can then use the tool to merge or subtract shapes. This tool is great for creating more complex shapes by combining simpler shapes together. It's especially useful for creating illustrations, logos, or other designs that require a combination of shapes. Additionally, you can use the Shape Builder tool to edit and adjust existing shapes, making it a versatile tool for editing and refining your designs. With the Shape Builder tool, you can easily combine multiple shapes to create more complex designs, and you can also subtract shapes to create more interesting and unique shapes. Layers are an important part of working in Adobe Illustrator for iPad. They allow you to keep different elements of your design separated and organized. To use layers, tap on the layer panel in the sidebar, then tap the plus button to create a new layer. You can then move elements between layers by dragging them onto the desired layer. Additionally, you can lock, hide, or adjust the opacity of layers to make it easier to work with your design. Layers are a great way to keep your design organized and make it easier to make changes or adjust to specific elements of your design. The Properties panel allows you to adjust the properties of your design, such as color, size, and style of your elements. You can access the Properties panel by tapping on the Properties button in the toolbar. The Properties panel allows you to adjust the properties of the selected element, such as its fill and stroke color, size, position, and other advanced settings. You can also use the Properties panel to adjust the properties of multiple elements at once, making it a great tool for global adjustments. The Properties panel is a great tool for making quick and precise adjustments to your designs. The Repeat tool allows you to repeat elements in your design. To use the Repeat tool, select the element you want to repeat, then tap on the Repeat button in the toolbar. You can then adjust the settings for the Repeat in the Properties panel, such as the number of times the element should be repeated, the spacing, and the rotation. This tool is great for creating patterns or repeating elements in your design. Additionally, you can use the Repeat tool to create complex designs by repeating elements in different ways. The Repeat tool is a great tool for creating designs that need to be repetitive, such as patterns or backgrounds. The Blend tool allows you to blend two or more shapes together. To use the Blend tool, select the shapes you want to blend, then tap on the Blend tool in the toolbar. You can then adjust the settings for the blend in the Properties panel such as the number of steps between the shapes, the spacing, and the color. This tool is great for creating smooth transitions between shapes and can be used to create a variety of effects, such as gradients or color blends. Additionally, you can use the Blend tool to create complex shapes by blending multiple shapes together. The Blend tool is great for creating designs that have a sense of movement or that need to blend seamlessly into other elements in the design. The Alignment tool allows you to align elements in your design. To use the Alignment tool, select the elements you want to align, then tap on the Alignment button in the toolbar. You can then choose from a variety of alignment options, such as aligning to the left, right, center, top, or bottom. This tool is great for ensuring that elements in your design are properly aligned, giving your designs a clean and professional look. Additionally, you can use the Alignment tool to distribute elements evenly, which is great for creating symmetrical designs. The Alignment Tool is a great tool for creating designs that are visually balanced and easy on the eye. It's especially useful for creating designs that need to be aligned to a grid or need to be aligned to other elements in the design. Well guys, that's all I got for you. If you liked this video or gave you some kind of value, make sure to hit that thumbs up for me. And if you want more content like this in the future, make sure you're subscribed. Guys, I appreciate it and until next time, peace.